Hey, what's up you guys? This is OGCP over here playing a Modern Warfare 3 TDM game on Underground using the MP5. And no, this is not it's all about the gold because this gun has already been featured in that lineup in the gold series. But the reason why I'm using the MP5 for this certain gameplay is because of that supposed buff that Infinity Ward implemented not too long ago. You know, with those certain weapons that supposedly got a buff. So I was just testing these guns out and I was wanting to see if Infinity Ward actually went through with what they said and I myself have my own suspicions and doubts about what Infinity Ward says and what they actually do so you know what I was like alright so let's test them out myself to see if what they're saying is actually not fiction so um, the MP5 I found with the silencer attachment, I don't notice any difference. I haven't tried it without the silencer attachment, but with the UMP, I tried it out without a silencer attachment and have actually found, to my surprise, that it has gotten a significant boost in damage from me as far as how many times I played with it. I found that it's a fantastic gun. It was before, but it just got that much better. The M16, I don't really know or see any reason as to why it would need a buff because that gun was fantastic. What the flip was that? I don't even know why it went into slow motion right there. But um, the M16 was always a great weapon. It's just overshadowed, like I said before, by the Type 95. Um, if you get a shot above the chest area and in the head, you will get at least um, a one hit kill in my opinion my previous experiences with that certain weapon get my AC 130 and get this final stand last stand second chance garbage guy out of there um, yeah so those weapons are the ones that I tried out so far and I have found a significant boost with the UMP the M16 not so much because it's always been a great weapon the MP5 I have not tried out without a silencer attachment and I know I'm missing out one gun right now and that gun is the infamous PM9. I have not tried that gun out just yet so I can't speak on its behalf. I don't know when is the time for me when I actually want to use that gun so I think I should try it out. I'm kind of hesitant to use that weapon only because I have so much negativity regarding it but I think I'm going to test it out just so I could find out if it actually did get a buff. But um, when I do, I will definitely throw up a gameplay for you guys, whether it's a positive or a negative experience. And uh, we'll see about that one. But I actually do have a question for you guys. I have a couple of shows that I'm watching currently. I'm watching Prison Break. Um, awesome show. I really love this show. It's a really great show to watch. Um, I'm watching Suits. It's an awesome show. I'm watching... Breaking Bad, a crazy cool show as well, and I'm watching The Walking Dead. Now, I, I have a question for you guys. I want to know if you guys have any other show that you guys would recommend me to watch, which is pretty entertaining for you guys. Even if it's a show that you finished and seen a long time ago that you would recommend me so I could be entertained because I'm running out of shows to watch. Some of my shows that I'm currently watching right now are narrowing down in their last season, so I want to be able to hit the road again on Netflix that is that I could hit up and you know just view for my pleasure and when I'm not bored because I don't want to be playing Modern Warfare 3 the whole time and there's a final kill cam so yeah if you guys do have one leave it in the comment section and I will appreciate that I went 25 and 3 in this gameplay hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time this is OGCP Da Silva and I'm signing off